Hey, my name is Brian Slayton. Um, I will start with this. I'm a wonderful wife and two lovely kids at home. Uh, she's almost six months old and the little boy that is four years old. Um, before that, my background, I was in the ministry. I was a youth and family minister. Now what we're, uh, this issue at hand here is drag shows in front of children. And uh, you take something that was, you know, in the past was secretive and, and they weren't proud of it, wasn't out in the open. But now. Brian Slayton, Representative Brian Slayton down here in Texas. He's a husband, a father, and he's always talking about groomers and how people are coming for your children and the morals that he holds. He's also a former pastor or minister, one of the two. Either way, what you need to know is that our man has the greatest morals ever, and he's putting those on you through legislation. Let's see what he's been talking about. He's been talking about grooming, except this is what's been going on in his life. The complaint alleges that this North Texas lawmaker had sex with a Capitol intern. At least that's what the report says. Uh, the Texas Tribune did report that this guy is accused of having relations with an intern. That's crazy. Why would that be? He's always up against groomers and all that stuff. Uh, there's more details in case you thought this guy was just, you know, just sleeping with interns. Slayton, who was married, allegedly called the intern after 10 o'clock on a Friday, March 31st, and invited her to his Austin apartment. The complaint alleges that the intern was under 21 years old and that Slayton drank alcohol with her. That's illegal. But he's, he's a, a moral guy, though. There's more. Per that complaint, Slayton comes pretty close to blackmailing the intern as well. It's getting worse. He allegedly showed her fake emails that he claimed contained information about their meetup days later and then told her not to talk about it. Sources described it to the Tribune as something of a loyalty test. It's odd. So he's provided this uh, intern who's under 21 with alcohol, then gave her this loyalty test to say, hey, don't tell anybody, because if not, I'm going to ruin your absolute entire career in a way. He hinted at it and with fake emails as well. But also the problem is, is the grooming. Watch more of what he usually says. Let's pretend and just say no one, right? No one in drag is a pedophile. Let's just pretend that's the reality. Well, what they're teaching children and how they're grooming children, it is not appropriate for the child. If the child you know, was in front of a, a female stripper, it's not appropriate. As I mentioned, with human trafficking, you got men trying to have sex with children and, and just straight up pedophiles. That's all wrong. It's all wrong. I agree with you. Uh, maybe wielding your power over your interns is also wrong, but I guess he isn't a problem with that. His colleagues did, especially his Republican ones, because they filed this after these things all broke. Uh, Republican State Senator Drew Springer, he's a Republican, as I said, says his bill would ensure that any lawmaker found guilty of giving alcohol to underage staffers and interns is given the maximum sentencing if convicted. He says hopefully that gets the message out. This is unacceptable. Think they're targeting this guy do you think the message got out francesca because uh, this guy is a moral uh, superior to everyone else no i mean look this is republicans have become the party of gleeful hypocrites uh it is the party of it's okay when i do it period remember randy mcnally mm. um like it is totally fine if they had uh, illicit relations. It's totally, uh, totally fine if he groomed an intern. It's okay if Matt Schlapp of CPAC um, advanced sexually on a staffer as well. Um, it doesn't matter because as long as you cover yourself with little Jesus fish stickers and say that you're a moral guy and talk about your family a million times and put an American flag in your bio on Twitter uh, next year, blue check mark, uh, you know, like... <laughs> That's all that matters. It's like, no, 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 because God, you're just wielding a cross at your own record. And it's like, I'm sorry, man, you cannot, you know, uh, sage your way out of this. Well, they're looking for a way, but you know, there's more to it. You guys thought we were done. First, it's the grooming, it's the providing alcohol. I'm sorry, it's the threats. And it's providing alcohol to your underage intern. What happens if she would have gotten pregnant? That's the question, because again, there was the sex as well. He has stances on abortion. I wonder what he would have done then. Here's one of his policies. Another Texas Republican lawmaker is attempting to make abortion punishable by the death penalty. Which one of those two would have been mm -hmm. up for the death penalty, him or his intern that he then threatened with the purity test? Also, 
He introduced a bill for Texas to secede from the United States, and he called that Texit. <laughs> yep. I where he got that from. There he is talking about that as well. Here's the third one. He's teaming up with the Texas Freedom Force, who the FBI calls an extremist militia, to criminalize those damn drag shows that are disrupting and destroying our children. And they talked about how he has this huge rifle in his office and they're having fun with a four-gauge shotgun, four-gauge shell versus a 12-gauge because they're badasses. So this guy is uh, the stereotypical Republican, but for some reason he must have said or done the wrong thing around his colleagues because they want nothing to do with him. I wonder who he's going to blame uh, once they run his ass out. It'll probably be Joe Biden and the Democrats for doing all this. He'll never turn on his party, who, of course, finally somehow turned on him. Yeah. There's Representative but, Slayton for you. I mean, that's good, right? I guess uh, he hasn't reached uh, national prominence yet, so they're actually yeah. still hold, holding him accountable. I mean, for real, though. Seriously, it's like it's like once you get too big, you get too big to actually be held accountable. You know, you've got Matt Gaetz. Uh, you, again, I mentioned Matt Schlapp. Um, so... Yeah, good on them for holding this one guy accountable. But uh, like again, all he has to do is run again. He pro he run for Congress, get elected from the state of Texas, and you should be a okay. But the last thing I'm gonna say here is it's so clear that this is not the anti-abortion crusade. The forced birther crusade is just about controlling more controlling poor people and working people than anything else because their girlfriends, the people they seduce or uh, strong arm into a relationship with them, if they get pregnant, they will be able to find a, uh, an abortion and get a doctor for that person. That's it. It's just about making sure that poor people and working people know their place, that black and brown people are still most affected, uh, and that, uh, you know, they get they just become little worker bees for the capitalists because uh, they're too strapped for to do anything else. So that's good. That's the plan. That's the way they've always gone about these things. The hypocrisy is off the charts.